do p voters in the party today accept that there are times when there are things that you, you say you're going to do on the campaign trail that don't get done because the process is broken in Washington? I think people accept the fact that not everything is going to get done. I think what frustrates them is that, that in many cases don't even try. Is, is that they, they, they say, well, you know, we're not going to, we have to cut a deal. We can't argue this. We can't fight this. I, I refer to it as Stockholm syndrome. I think that we have, we have so many of our Republican leaders who have been there so long, uh, who are so used to getting beat up by the media in Washington, D.C., and having Barack Obama take them into the woodshed, that they've now decided that they're not going to fight anymore, that they're going to, you know, sue, instead of standing up to the president on, on his executive amnesty, which is clearly unconstitutional, instead of fighting, oh, well, we'll take it to the court, we'll let the court fix it. As, as, as a voter, that, that's not what you said you'd do. That's not what this campaign was all about. You said you would stop the president from doing these things, and they're not stopping well, them. Let's and get to and some... you're saying, well, oh, we're going to get the court to do it. That's not what you said you'd do. We want you to fight. We don't want you to have the court cover for you. Let's...